Suppose that S is a set, we are going to denote the number of elements or the number of members in the set S by N of S. So N of S is the number of elements in the set S. For example, if S is a set of integers from 1 to 6, then the number of elements in the set X will be 6. If S is the set of natural numbers, then the number of elements in set S will be infinite. So if the number of elements in the set S is some finite number, we say that S is a finite set. If the number of elements in the set S are infinite, we say that the set is an infinite set. So the set of natural numbers is an infinite set. Now suppose we define a set S as the set of objects X such that X is a person living in the world. So every person alive today would be a member of the set S. The number of elements in the set S would thus be the present world population. Now we may not know exactly what this value is, but we know that it's going to be some finite value. And so S is going to be a finite set. Now suppose we define a set S as a set of objects X such that X is a natural number and X lies between 1 and 2. How many elements does this set S have? Since X is given to be a natural number, it can only take values from 1, 2, 3 onwards. But we are also given that X is greater than 1 and it's less than 2, so it lies between 1 and 2. Now there is no natural number that lies between 1 and 2. This means that there is no such number X that could be a member of the set S. The set S is actually an empty set. The number of elements in set S are 0 and we say that the set S is an empty set or a null set. Sometimes it's also called as a void set. So an empty set can be represented in roster form by just a pair of curly brackets with nothing inside. The convention however is to represent it by the Greek letter phi.